Hello you deep fried Mars Bar, slightly ropey Scottish man Andy Murray here for What Culture Wrestling back again with your daily news update and the content cow has had a rather lazy weekend but regardless let's kick things off with news of a couple of big WWE returns. The first of them takes place this Tuesday night on SmackDown as The Big Show returns to WWE television for the first time since Braun Strowman skadooshed him through a steel cage last September. Big Show had been suffering from a severe hip problem since then and there was even talk that he might have to retire from wrestling altogether, but no, he's coming back and he's going to face Randy Orton in a qualifier for the upcoming Wrestling World Cup tournament, which finishes at Crown Jewel. Now this is quite interesting, the show was a Raw superstar the last time we saw him, but it looks like WWE are now promoting him as a free agent. It's not necessarily a huge deal because I don't think anyone expects him to mount a full-time return at this stage in his career, but regardless, it's going to be cool to see him back anyway. Elsewhere, we finally have confirmation of when Rey Mysterio will make his long way to WWE return, and it's going to be at SmackDown 1000 on October 16th. WWE broke the news on their official website, noting that this will be Mysterio's first full appearance on weekly television in over four years, and they promoted him very much as if he'll be part of the SmackDown roster going forward. Now again, this isn't a huge surprise, as 2018 has been full of talk of Ray's imminent return, but with this news it looks like he's finally sealed the deal and will be on SmackDown, which is probably pretty encouraging. SmackDown's a very well-booked show, so it bodes well. So we've only got a couple of stories for you today, but let's change directions and talk about me with here, aka the wrestler formerly known as Neville, aka Pac, for just a second. The former King of the Cruiserweights obviously returned to Dragon Gate last week, and he already has some massive matches lined up, including a big singles clash with Flamita at the Gate of Destiny on November 4th. Now you all know how good Pac is of course, but if you've never seen Flamita, let me just say you guys are in for an absolute delight and fans of high flying wrestling are not going to miss this match when it goes down on November 4th. In other news, the great man has also changed the name of his finisher from the Red Arrow to the Black Arrow, which is slightly odd at first glance given that the name of his Dragon Gate unit is R.E. But, and I give nod to the fantastic Andrew Rich, that's at Andrew T. Rich on Twitter for this observation, in The Hobbit, the Black Arrow is what Bard the Bowman used to kill Smaug the Dragon. Pack is back in Dragon Gate to obliterate your favourite wrestlers in his own words. What a cracking easter egg. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Be sure to let us know what you think of The Big Show's return, Rey Mysterio's return, and of course, go ahead and make some bald Neville jokes. It's been a while down in the comments section below. And once you've done all that, head on over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE, where you'll find all manner of great articles written by the likes of Jamie Kennedy, Benjamin Richardson, Michael Hamflit, and my dad, the wizard himself, Michael Sidgwick. You'll have a great time. I've been Andy, and I'll see you later.